Hello, I'm Dr. Dorsey, and I'm going to show you the simplest way to do spinal decompression. Now, why is spinal decompression important? Well, because compression to your spine is the most common cause of low back pain. Okay, when your spine gets squeezed, it puts a lot of pressure on the discs, it puts pressure on the nerve, sciatica, pinched nerves. But not only that, the discs, right, the discs are spacers. And when those discs get compressed and the space gets smaller, well, we first, first we start to shrink, okay, so you may get a little bit smaller. But not only that, it creates less space for your spine to move and to function properly. So I'm going to show you the simplest way to, to do spinal decompression. And it's a, it's a device I came up with, or just actually a pillow I came up with, and I call it Lay and Decompress. Now, I did invent another product. It's called Sit and Decompress. It's a harness that hangs over the doorway, and it decompresses your spine. It does wonderful. But I just wanted to create something a little bit different that anybody can do. And not that, not that nobody can do or anybody can't do Sit and Decompress, but this is just something that's very portable. It's easy to do. You can take it with you. I mean, essentially, it's, a, it's an inflatable pillow. I've come up with five different stretches that you do on it, and it's really, really a game changer for anybody who has low back pain. So let me show you those stretches. Okay, I'm gonna show you the stretches that you can do with lay and decompress. Now, with the pillow here, um, you will want to fill it up to what feels good for you, okay? I'd recommend maybe just putting half, half full, um, but again, you can, you, know, you can go all the way. You can go all the way full if you want to, but I would, you know, starting out um, half full is, will be a good judgment or a good barometer to see if it works for you or not work for you, but see how it feels on your low back. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of air out. Okay, we'll start with the first stretch. So you're just gonna get on the floor. All right, it's like this. Put it up against your bottom and you're gonna lay back. <clears throat> Okay, now, the nice thing about this pillow is that it's nice and wide. Okay, so that allows us to do these, these stretches on it. Okay, now the first one is just actually just laying here. Okay, lay here, kind of see how that feels. If you've got a really tight back, you know, bad disc, or just tight stenosis, um, this stretch alone does spinal decompression. Okay. How how's that work? Well, you're just creating a little bit of a bridge in your in the your lower pelvis here, your hips and your butt are pulling over this, so it's creating decompression on your spine. Okay? Feels good. What a great stretch. Simple. Okay, now the next stretch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one leg, put it out straight, and then you're going to rotate the other leg on top of it. Okay? Feel a stretch in the hip and the SI. Actually feel in the spine too. It's great. Because a lot of times if your low back's tight, your hips, hamstrings, they're all tight too. So this is a good stretch for that. All right, do the other side. And again, you're going to do 30 seconds to a minute. You can go through all these stretches in like five minutes. So give yourself five minutes to do these. But you want to work your way up to 10, 15 minutes. All right, good. Now the next one is, this is a figure four. This is my favorite. Let's bring your leg up on top. Again, relax there for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, depending on how your, how your condition is or what your condition is. Some may be able to tolerate more time or less. Okay, from this position, you're gonna create traction, even more traction, okay? So with your left hand, push down, okay? Push down on your hip, and you're gonna pull up on your right hip. And you can really feel the decompression going on in your spine. What a great stretch. Good. Okay, and same thing on the other side. Just bring that leg up. Again, first, the first thing is just to kind of lay here. Let everything relax. 30 seconds or so. I'll speed these up a little bit for the video. And then you're going to do the, the decompression one. 
for the traction one. Push and pull up. And it's it, it's a stretch that you've probably never felt before. Um, and I mean, I'm a, I'm a chiropractor, and when I started developing the stretches for this and I did this, um, it was a stretch that I've never felt before. So, you know, I've, I've done a lot of different therapies, and once I did this stretch, it was it was a game changer, and I wanted to, you know, show everyone else that this is a great way to decompress your spine. Good. Okay, now the next one, you're gonna put your legs straight, and then you're gonna do a figure four like this. Out. That's a decent stretch. Mostly in the hip. You can see how how flat or not flat the but my butt is on the floor now. It's because it's all stretched out. It's good. Now same thing on the other side. Bring your leg up, rotate it out. And you see how flat my leg is? Okay. I've seen some people where they get on here and their knee's still 45 degrees. That's not good. That means you need to hip or you need to uh, work on stretching out that hip. Okay. And again, if you stretch out the hip, it's going to help stretch out the low back. Okay, so those are the stretches. Real easy, real simple to do. And then when you're done, yeah, you want to do that. You want to pull the pillow out and you just want to relax. Because again, you'll feel everything come back together. Okay, so you want everything to come back together nice and gentle. After 30 seconds or so, you want to roll to your side. Okay, don't get up like this. When you get up like this, it's going to compress the spine back together. We don't want to do that. Okay, so roll to your side. Okay. Push up, and then, you know, go about your day. So that's how you do spinal decompression with laying decompressed. Thanks for watching.